open. Yes, it is. There we go. <sighs> right. And where's my logo? I should probably find that. That'll do nicely. And Natasha. Marriage done. I'm doing not bad today, thank you. Hope you guys are alright. Melanie, Jose, welcome. What I'm attempting to do today is I'm attempting to design a new t-shirt for the, the Redbubble shop. I'm going for kind of an Andy Warhol type deal, so I'll have to get these little Hellfraser heads uh, properly lined up and positioned. A way to do this, but no, there isn't really. Essentially, I need to do. Actually, let's delete that first. Um, uh, Lena, one infinity, welcome. Raven, Ariel, sorry to anybody I've missed. Uh, right. Okay, good night, Natasha. Sleep well. I usually stream a bit later, but it's, uh, it's about quarter past six, uh, six p.m. here. I thought I'd try doing it a little bit earlier tonight. Hi, Terry. Uh, what I need to do is basically, if anybody's seen that. Well, those uh, various Andy Warhol pop art pictures where the image is repeated over and over again. So I need to try and create a version of that. Okay. I did it before, but I wasn't happy with the results. Ariel Grata, when can we see what thou look like? I've already shown pictures of myself. Old ones, but that's as good as it gets. Hmm. 
Hello on the road, have you read my prior story in the most recent Paranormal Stories Q&A episode? I can't get over how cool and coincidental that is. Especially when me and that friend are like, oh, I'm sorry you, you and your friend are apart. I'm probably catching some people at lunch. Where can we find your old photos? It's just pictures I was working in on previous live streams. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them all up though. Right. Somebody mentioned a hot dog. I hope you're not having too much trouble with the hot dog. Van Halter, I always use your stories in the evening to help me fall asleep. They're really helpful. Well, you're welcome. Anything I can do to help. Well, non-Uganda Knuckles, I've got very good news for you. One of those will be up in about 40 minutes. Matthew, go ahead, you can ask. Thank you, Zarek. I had trouble getting everything to line up. Thank you, kindly, Reginald. Is there any way you could do a an hour long glitch in the Matrix video? It's not too likely. I tend to struggle to get enough stories to do one twenty to thirty minute video every week. Kingsman, I, I don't know what that means, Matthew, sorry. <clears throat> the Governor. Since I and most people, I believe, already addressed your concern previously, the Governor, since I and most people listen to the stories when we are trying to sleep, could you maybe place the ads at the start and the end of the videos? Instead of mid-rolls, it's always loud ads. Uh, well, I could do that. But you would then be down to one or two videos a week while I get a regular job or buy a rope to put around my neck. 
it's the ads at the start and the middle that make most of the money. So if I take that out, Well, the neckbeard videos are easier to make a bit longer because those stories can frequently be a bit longer. Yeah, I mean, I thought I was pretty restrained with my placement of the ads, but <clears throat> can't please everyone. That is an awful looking color. Lena Sabina, for some reason I almost never have ads. You should pay three every video unless you're using a blocker of some kind. Zarek, what time is it? It's currently 25 minutes past 6 in the evening. Had dinner yet? No, I'll, I'll eat later. I had a green smoothie and I'll tide me over for a while. Well, only five and a half hours to go, Melanie. It'll whoosh by before you know it. That's the wrong thing. It's meant to be yellow. Hue balance. No, hue and saturation. There we go. Lucky seven, good morning, Lucky. Thank you, the governor. I'm glad you understand. Thank you kindly, Jose. I appreciate that. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, I think I'm coloring these all wrong, actually, am I? Well, regarding the ad issue, I really wouldn't want to put any more on than I already do. Uh, it's pretty much 99% of all my revenue comes from the ads. Uh, well, uh, well, that's not true. 99% of my revenue comes from YouTube. Uh, there's a, a chunk of it that comes from YouTube Red. So if you have a YouTube Red subscription, that 
That definitely helps. Uh, but there aren't any boobs in the logo, Julie. <laughs> Uh, I need to redesign it. Those are eyes. Well, thank you, kindly American. I think I love you too. What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, the revenue comes from mostly from YouTube, uh, but some of you are very generous with with uh, support through Patreon and things like that. So I don't really feel the need to add any more adds to the videos. I think the level I'm at right now is pretty good. No one hates boobs. There's probably some strange person living in a cave. That's probably why they live in a cave, so they don't have to see any boobs. I shouldn't have said that. That stream's going to get demonetized now, now that I said boobs. Boobs. Okay, I think I timed this well. I think people in people in the US are are kind of ju either just getting up or or it's uh no mid afternoon it would be actually in the US, wouldn't it? I suppose some people will just be getting up. I didn't get up till midday myself today. KK, I might be a creep. I don't think you're a creep. All the therapeutic to listen to. Well, I like to chill on the stream, so you don't get big boomy hell freezer. You get you get chilled, relaxed hell freezer, just mellowing out. Basically just trying to be trying to be productive, that's what this is all about. Try I'm trying to design some new t shirts because um in the Red Bubble shop, uh, which I might change, I'm not sure if anybody even likes Red Bubble. But in the Red Bubble shop there's only a few designs and one of them as someone pointed out, makes it look like a big pair of boobs on the front of it. So I'm making a smaller logo so that it's it's a little more subtle. Alexander Moore. Uh, yes, Alexander, there'll be a new video up in 29 minutes. I really do need to design a better logo. I just, I, I kind of fell in love with this one. I like the little kind of distorted text and all. That may be something to do on a future stream. Mr. Hellfreezer designs a new logo. I wonder what body part can make that look like. You upload videos at 2pm? No, 7pm my time, Alexander. Bear in mind I live in the United Kingdom. So it's early evening for me. Let's, uh, I think I'll get one more in there. Oh, they at least line up. Okay. Scroll back in the chat, make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, hi, Stephanie G. Uh, bye, Polina. Uh, sorry, I missed you. Reginald Weaver, uh, I've got no objection to doing Scottish folklore. Do something on the Will of the Wisp, maybe that's Scottish, isn't it? I'd have to look into it. 
I'm sure there are plenty of stories out there. There are for every culture. Thank you, Ash. Well, you know, AJ, you could dry your hair while you're you're busying about. Matthew, is bloody really a bad word over there? No, we say bloody all the time. Um, we tend to use it as a substitute as being one of the one of the less severe black bad words. Bloody bugger, the like. Then there are other words which aren't too severe over here, which are severe in other countries. Garrett, we'll get to hear your adventures in retail. Good night, Sonny. Thanks for stopping in. Bye, Truth. Uh, no, I'm just playing about. I might even change a number of them later. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure how many. How many layers I'm going to make this. It's not going to be that long. Two, three, four. Might make up a four or five. Uh, Julie, yes, that's one of the words I was talking about. I I say it quite a bit, but I'm aware some people are upset by it, so I wasn't going to say it. Although it is a Tuesday. Tablets misbehaving. Well, I'll be I'll be in the middle of a candle. I'll be doing them as long as there's interest in them, and on as long as I can think of things to do while doing them. Hang on, that one looks a bit dodgy. No, 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 it was just from the distance, okay. Right, write that down. No, you're not able to join in, Georgina. Yeah, I think these actually these actually seem to line up. Okay. Julie, why not make it an illustrator? Uh, I'm more familiar with Photoshop. I mean, I've got Illustrator somewhere. Oh, yeah, I've got it there. But Okay, you people are just going to try and make me hungry, aren't you? And a couple of rolls when I come in. Then uh, I got my new blender yesterday, so I've been having fun making smoothies. You got me thinking about burgers and things now, curses. Okay, is there a difference between hue? Ah, yeah, that looks. Uh, hue looks a little nicer. Oh, oh, now people are talking about Chinese food. <sighs> there is a place just down the hill for me, and that's part of the problem. It's too convenient.
Matthew, do you have any other tales besides your voice and the fact that you seem to know a lot about computers? Well, I know a little bit. Uh, can you whistle, pat your belly and rub your head all at the same time? As long as you have no follow-up questions, yes. Yeah, well, uh, uh, the middle of candle. What he he would do, well, he, firstly he would silk screen them, but he'd also paint colors like underneath, like vi bright, vibrant colors underneath. I'm looking to just achieve a kind of simple effect with uh, my logo. I might do something regarding uh, like an overlay or an underlay, rather. It'd have to be, but we'll see what works. Crab macaroni and cheese. Hmm. Never had that. Sounds interesting. I have had mac. I usually when I do macaroni and cheese, I'll do like hot dogs and mushrooms in it. Uh, the sm smoothie that I made. What did I put in there? I think it was bananas, apples, spinach. Uh, because I wanted it to be green. Lemon. Just a dash of ground ginger and melon with uh, oat milk. That was very nice. I'm really just messing about trying to figure something that works. Like I say, the idea is it's got to look good and eye-catching on a t-shirt. I'm not 100% sure this does right that one we'll keep that I'm sure there's another way to do this but I don't always go for the easiest approach bit of a bad habit of mine I'm not kind of running to the bulb now where I need to. Mm, different colours. You know what? I'll be a rebel and make one of them white. If that will work. Not really. Actually, let's make it grey. Why not? Is somebody insulting mushrooms? Oh, that, that's an invitation to fisticuffs in this house. Why not do cooking with Hellfreeze? I don't think I haven't thought about it. Pineapple on pizza? Not my favourite thing. But if somebody offered me a slice of pizza with pineapple on it, I wouldn't turn it down. But I'd certainly never buy it. Mushrooms are fungus, I don't want to put that in my mouth. Oh, lots of things are weird. And penicillin comes from mould. We all take that. I apologise if you can hear any noise outside. I think, I think I've inspired the neighbours to go out and start working in the gardens. That's always the way it goes. Cut the grass earlier, and sure enough, I can hear people out banging about after I was done. Uh, what am I doing? girl got into an argument with me because I said I liked mushrooms. 
Well, I hope you won the argument. We mushroom fans have got to stick together. Pepperoni pasta. No, no, I've, I've only ever had pepperoni on, on pizza, I think. I'm a bit, I'm a bit kind of funny on celery. I like celery soup. Uh, and I don't mind one or two stalks of celery as long as it's pro well maybe just one as long as it's properly properly blended up in a drink, but nah I wouldn't have it as a side dish or anything. Hi Janet, love you too. It's more or less the same colour as that. We can't have that. Janet, no, you haven't really missed uh, a lot. Um, uh, there was some talk of boobs, uh, then there was talk of mushrooms, uh, and now we're here. start eating a Big Mac on the lawn, then worry they're stalking you. Not worried about the neighbours, there are a couple of cats in the neighbourhood I'm concerned are stalking me though. Especially the one that keeps trying to sneak into the house. I thank you in the middle of a candle. You've got me thinking of that song now, Bell Booking Candle. What tattoo should I, I get next? Oh, well, I have no idea, because I'm, I'm someone who doesn't have the courage to commit to a tattoo. Bye, fan. Thanks for stopping in. Well, the, br the bright side, Janet, Janet, is when he's done, you'll have lots of spaghetti sauce and you can probably freeze that, so that's never a bad thing. Uh, all right. I need a bell, book, and candle to keep your ghost away. Keep your ghost away, I need a bell. <clears throat> Feed the masses, oh no, no, no. I think Janet might get a bit upset if she had to feed the masses. Although I am suddenly in the mood for, mood for spaghetti. Don't know if I have any in the cupboard. I was thinking of having chicken nuggets later, but that may change. Oh, that's too dull a colour, that. Really what I need to do is just do the colours and apply the logos. Yeah, I didn't even realise I was doing it right away then. It was, oh, better shot, there's people listening to you. So it's all winter for sure. Cans oh, and a pressure canner. I've heard of those. I've never actually seen one in action, though. Uh, have you had any? Per I've not had any personal glitches. 
Well, nothing beyond usual tiny little things. You know, things disappearing. Things reappearing. But nothing too weird. Uh, and paranormal ones. Yeah, just little things. Things that could be explained away if you wanted to. I lead a relatively boring life, which is probably safest. That looks nicer. Even four might be too much. Hang on, let me maybe just make three a piece. I'll move this two to a similar anyway. That one there. Move that one there. No, no, that's that one there. Okay. Yes, please come over for pasta. <laughs> Gravy, not the sauce. Hi, Betty Betty. I think cats eat, eat spaghetti as well, Betty Betty, don't worry. Angela Lycos. I used to be a moderator for a different channel and we used Discord for the mods to communicate to each other. And one day I didn't know the mic was on, the rest you can guess. I'm always afraid I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'll forget the mic's on or, or I'm broadcasting somewhere. And oh dear. a much better way to get the colours I want. Red icon, this one up here? Yeah, you're probably right, that might be a bit on the bright side. Let's try something else. Um, yes. I think this is how I did it last time, I should know what I'm remembering. I don't always get them on, then adjust the colours. Seems to work for me. Yep, we want... Actually, that shade of orange is what I was trying to go for there. Uh, we want you to be red. Yeah, try it there. Hey, bitty bitty. Uh, we're we're going over all these colors here. Let's try and get that a bare yellow. All right, well, I'm happy with that one, so we'll merge that down. And this one, it's more of a kind of a mustard right now. We want to just kind of a regular yellow. Alt. Well, in case anybody's wondering what I'm doing here, um, when you press the Alt key, you see how that changes to a little arrow? Then you click. It just links that to the layer below it. Just in case you were wondering what I was doing. Hmm. 
Uh, never try that there. a bit let's make that a darker let's make it deep purple yeah, that's better of course I need to try and think how these colors are gonna come out when they're printed on a t-shirt because they won't all come out looking exactly as they do now Hi, I want to see what you're up to at work. Well, I'll, I hope I'm not causing you to slack off. I don't want you to get yelled at by your boss. Unless you're your own boss, in which case, yell at yourself. Uh, right, I'm thinking three more. There's done. Both not in today. Ah, those are always the best days. Julie, and like you can pr you can preview print colors. Yeah, you. It's um. I don't think you can really preview them the way they're going to come out when they're printed on a T-shirt. Though things tend to be a bit a bit more faint, usually, and there's no guarantee how they're going to look when Redbubble actually makes the T-shirts up. But I, I do know how to, to print preview, but... Not sure where you're going with that. Nope. The problem when I did this particular one last time was I was never quite satisfied with the position. I think... These are all okay. Yeah, I think they're all okay. Right. I need three different colors. Valerie, I'm most likely on my boss's FU list. Uh, yeah, well, we've all had bosses like that. Barely human poopers. Uh, yeah, Julie. Um, again, uh, it's uh, the the printing process. Whatever material they use to print the colors onto the fabric, it is always going to look different in in real life than it does. They tend to be more faint. I mean, I actually bought a few T-shirts myself from Redbubble recently, and they all look fine, but they are also all less uh, vibrant than anything else than the actual picture showed. All apart from the ones that were black and white. They look exactly the same. Hi Kodomo, thanks for joining us. And I've got red, blue, grey.
Fluffy laser wolf, is this the right room for an argue for an argument? Uh, if there's something you'd like to discuss, you can bring it up, and we'll see what happens. But arguments will probably no, there'll probably be no arguments. Like when Star, I was wondering if you will ever consider getting married. I'll have to re meet meet the right woman first. Hi, Regina. Ah, that's that kind of yellow was trying to go up there. Better. You strike me as an introvert. Yeah, mostly. And when I say right woman, I do, of course, uh, mean Karen Gillan. So, uh, you know, it's... Just as soon as she's done with all that Hollywood nonsense, we'll get married. Joe of the Dead, is it rude to ask how old Mr. Hellfreezer is? Uh, Mr. Hellfreezer is currently 36 years old. He will be 37 in the 19th. I have to hurry to get dressed for my girls at school soon. Well, they're much more important than anything else. Well, first day. Oh. Yeah, wasn't great. Oh, first day back. Is that what you meant? Ninth grade. Corrine okay. O'Connor, almost exactly 10 years older than me. Ah, well... That probably rules you out as a potential wife, then. Ah, well, them's the bricks. Hello, Kit Kat. There is no need to shout. I have a headache. I didn't realize that was up for discussion. It's not. I'm, I'm too old for you. I'm an old man. You're. You're a kid starting out on your life. I'll be drawing my pension soon, talking about the good old days. Um, hello, Sean. Welcome back. Thank you, Shane. That's very kind. You you offering to get drunk on my behalf. <laughs> oh, I 
can't have two greens. Um, we're gonna know how that goes. I got some pale blue. I got uh, oh, too many blues. I'm sorry, Corinne. I've 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 got to be firm with these things. You see, I've got to be cruel to be kind, or some other weird contradictory thing. Valerie, uh, since I have the YouTube Red family account, are you getting money from that? Uh, I'm actually yes. I think uh, I'd have to check. I'm not going to do it on stream, obviously. I think about a third of my income comes from that. So it is helpful. Angela, lifeless, chasing kids off your lawn. Uh, mostly kits at the moment. Teeny tiny fluffy kitty cats. No, 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 I can't adopt all the kitties. They'd eventually overpower me and eat me. So man, I love when my kids see how, how good the kids today have compared to when they were in school four years ago. Yeah. Uh, Shane Freeland, do you get anything if I skip an ad? Uh, no, if you skip an ad, we don't get anything for it. And uh, that's why I only include a small number of ads, because I want to encourage people to either watch the ad, or if it's one of the super long ones, uh, personally speaking, I wouldn't insist anyone else do this, but personally speaking, if I'm watching something and a really long ad comes up. I'll just refresh the page till something a bit shorter comes up because I still want them, I still want them to get the ad. Cause you know, I like the channel, I wanna, I wanna support it. Hell Freezer cats totally have agendas. I know, they think we're not onto them, but I know. I think you should use your Michelle Michelle Green. Think you should use your tartan colors. Uh, I don't have any tartan colors. I don't think there's a Clan Hell freezer. Kit Kat. I have seven cats. I hope they don't eat me. Uh, well, no, and, and unless um, and probably not while you're alive, anyway. Uh, Alicia, my parents have ten, but they live on a farm. Oh, Alicia, um, I think you need to talk to your parents. That's not really for me to say, but yeah. Nicole, see, their genders are just to be awesome little fur ball, fur balls. No, I, I'm, I'm certain they're they're planning on world domination. If anyone's ever read a comic called uh, Dream of a Thousand Cats by Neil Gaiman, you'll know what I'm talking about. The cats want to overthrow us. I just realized I'm competing with myself right now because my video went up 10 minutes ago. 
Silver Sterling. I love Sandman too. It's one of those things I read at least once a year. Angela Lycos, nah, they're too lazy for world conquest. <laughs> well, uh, if, if you read that, if you ever do get a chance to read that comic I mentioned, that's kind of brought up in it. <laughs> this, uh, this cute little white kitty, and he's listening to this, this older cat that's been through some stuff. And uh, she's talking about the good old days when, when the cats were huge and humans were about the size of cats. And they used, they used to chase us and eat us. Bad times. Shane, but is the live stream a regular thing? Or just when we behave? Uh, well, I haven't had to spank anyone yet. Uh, at least not as a punishment. But uh, no, it's just uh, it's whenever I'm in the mood. At least once a week, maybe more. Uh, I, I'm trying them at different times to see when works best. Uh, so far, anywhere between, I guess, six and... 10 seems to be a good time to start them. Hey, Joe of the Dead, I would really like to take care of a cat, but work will never make that possible. You can't buy a pet and never have time for it, can you? And, uh, Alicia, yeah, I think you can post links. That's all right. Go ahead. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel as well. I mean, I, th I think uh, dogs and cats and whatnot, they're, they're cute as buttons. But the fact of the matter is, uh, even though I work from home, I just don't have the time and attention to dedicate to a pet. And it really would not be fair on the pet. Yasmina, I got a cat with the hope of teaching my eight-year-old some responsibility. And now it's me, the one with more responsibilities. Well, I could have predicted that. <laughs> I'm sure she'll learn in time, though. Little by little, she'll take the responsibility on. Hi, Lightful Foxtrot, welcome. Desert Rose, you have a great sinister sounding laugh in some of your stories. <laughs> Uh, 
gone mad. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. Was were you able to get him help? Was was he okay? I'm very sorry to hear that, Sean. I truly am. Well, at least a little cat has you guys to help take care of it, or it to take care of you. Some animals are very independent, no matter how many legs they might happen to have. Just not happy with that one. Hi Johanna, welcome. <laughs> right, I might save that there and move on to something else actually. I'm going to leave see that board with it. I'm so sorry to hear about all your, all the bad things that have happened to your little pets. I hope they're all okay now. Uh, I think Shane feeling is getting a bit belligerent. Um. I suppose it's time to learn how to kick people out. Okay.
that looks a bit crap. Yeah, I think I'll have to start doing it from scratch. I won't do it on this stream. I'll maybe save it and see if I can salvage it in some way. I don't know. I don't want to flatten the image. Keep them separate. Diamond Dragon. Hi, Diamond Dragon. <laughs> Miss Fenrir. Uh, middle of Canada. Well, it really depends. We've had a we had a much hotter summer than we have for a while, uh, but it usually doesn't get overly hot. Apparently we've got a bit more hot weather on the way. It's actually quite sunny today. So naturally I'm I'm inside hiding away from it. I was out in it earlier for a bit though. I went out and got some did a bit of shopping, did some work in the garden. That's what I'm saying, Cam Good, it's a bit crap. <sighs> well I'm saving maybe around with it later. If only you redo all the colours or something. I really should just give up on this Hell Freezer logo and come up with something from scratch. I think some people find that they've just got a preference for a certain type of be it a cat or a dog. I mean, uh, my sister's last last dog, uh, Bono, his name was, was uh, a lab collie cross, uh, black lab collie cross, and uh, when he passed away, he was with us for a very long time, but eventually just got too old. And you know how dogs go; they you know, they kind of lose uh, their legs and all that, and well, you know how it is. And eventually the, the poor fella had to be put down and a bit of time went by and we were all kind of missing, missing having a dog around, specifically missing Bono. And uh, eventually they'd started looking for another dog and they looked at a few and the one that they, they fell in love with just so happened to be a black lab collie cross. Completely different temperament but um, looked very, very similar. working on right. right I've got no idea what's in that document I hope I'm not opening up anything dirty oh no it's just a 3d thing I was messing about with yeah right. that's enough of that Right, back on to restoring from family pictures, I think. There was one I was looking at earlier that's quite badly damaged. If I can find it just by looking at the thumbnails. Mm. 
Do you keep dirty dishes pictures? On your computer? No, no, I was joking. It's just uh, there's no, nothing naughty in here. There's a few pictures of Maz Mickelson. It's for a t shirt I was designing. Uh, but no, nothing, nothing naughty. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. This one's in quite a bad state. <clears throat> I've done a little bit of restoration work on this, but I was trying to get rid of all these white flecks and let's see what we can do. Uh, well, this is my big sister. I have no idea who these two are. Possibly cousins. On my father's side, I'm not sure. Right. Where to start? Where to start? Well, I guess I could well, duplicate the image. That's usually a good place to start. Uh, hmm. I have a can of Rockstar in the fridge. It's calling to me. No, I'll, I'll be strong, I'll resist. Right. We'll try, try a dust and scratches filter first. Yeah, that helps a hell of a lot, actually. Uh, doesn't even blur the faces that much. Okay, well that helps a lot with that. Maz Mickelson don't have eyebrows? Yes, he does. I love that show, Hannibal. I keep waiting, hoping that Netflix, uh, well Netflix in the UK, will put season three up, but they haven't. Put it up so I can finish watching it, please. Ah, did you hear that there? That bugger going by in the dirt bike? I bet you thought I was making it up. Hot today, we went food shopping. Uh, I keep saying I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get my next lot of groceries delivered, but I don't think I've only done it twice so far. Middle of candle, okay, sleep tight. Let's try. Hopefully I'll see you again next time. Yotaku, hey bro, how old are you? 36. Dude, I have a great idea for narration, but won't say it publicly. Well, if it's a bit rude, it's probably not going to work. Uh, right. right. I'm happy with that. Now I need to repair this pretty nasty looking scratch. Uh, hmm. I'll try spot healing it first and see how that goes. If not, we can try something else. Of the dead, all oh. Cam Good. I've got bad news for you, Cam Good. Time is only going to seem like it's going faster and faster from here on in. I swear, I was only 15 like two weeks ago. Diamond Dragon Hellraiser, what story genre do you like enjoying the most? Uh, from the ones that I read, the I tend to enjoy doing the funnier ones. All the funnier ones, to be honest with you more. Uh, 
Let me show. I'm, I'm actually trying to get another one of those together. Maybe this Sunday. It's been a little while since I've done one. No reason for it. It's just been a little while. Determine what's actually damaged to the picture and what's actually just marks and that on the wall. That's picture damage. Digital Beasts, what is the hardest part of making videos for you? Getting out of bed. Uh, but no serious answer. What is the hardest part? Well, the hardest part is just finding stories, really. Everything else, just you get into a flow with it. But no, it's, it's finding the material to go to, to go into the videos. Or you'll find enough individual stories, but they won't be quite long enough. That's another problem. Okay. I think that's the worst of the scratches and everything else. Just all this white fading. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, right, let's do say that there again. I feel so guilty enjoying it. Isn't it? No, it is not bullying. It's. It's not bullying because. They're bullies. They're antagonizing people. And the people they have antagonized are just sharing stories about them. I mean, saying we're bullying neckbeards is like saying we're bullying the stalkers and the let's not meet scary stories. Or they were bullying ghosts in the paranormal stories. Bye, Diamond Dragon. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, are you lagging, Sean? There's season three of Hannibal. Well, I was talking about season three of Hannibal, you know, with Maz Mikkelsen and various other people's names I'm forgetting right now. Lawrence Fishburne was in it. That's an hour and 20 minutes already. Always surprises me how quickly things go by when I'm doing these. Alicia, it's currently it's 25 minutes to 8 over here. No, my sister will occasionally make yummy food for me. Uh, but yeah, she, she brought this, this huge, huge tub of curry sauce. It's one of my favourite curry sauce. Uh, 
I had said to her, oh, I, kept, I kept dropping in, so have you been in yet? Have you been in yet? No, no, to the to the store that that sells it in in Glasgow. Uh, this it, it sells like uh, various Chinese foods, and uh, she got me a tub of my own. She wouldn't even take money off me, so I was very happy. I haven't opened it yet because I'm still a wee bit. I'm still a wee bit um, sensitive in terms of what my stomach's doing. But that'll settle down eventually and I'll be able to get stuck in that with a big pile of chips and make curries and things. And I make myself hungry just thinking about it. Sean McMahon, I don't believe in glitches because the many worlds theory is nonsense. Ironically, you in another Earth thinks it's all all totally legit. Julie, do I get banned if I try to send you something via URL? I don't even know. Try and see. I've seen a few messages come up with the person's name then message redacted so I don't know if it automatically censors them. Right, enjoy your nap, Valerie. Love you too. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> I think people just want to know how close I am to death myself. That's why they keep asking how old I am. Right, let's get the old burn tool out. Let's see if that helps any here. Johanna, don't say that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's something I need to enable, but mm. moderators, participants, pop out chat times, sense. No, doesn't seem like there's anything I can do. Checking the community settings page. I'm assuming I'm still broadcasting. Um, comments. Language channel. No, it doesn't say anything about me blocking links. It just says hold potentially inappropriate chat messages for a review. But so far we haven't had any inappropriate chat messages. Or even need to enable a moderator, but I've just figured out how to do that. Come on, look back up. I can't see the people chatting. There we go. Louise Davis, I'm 39 this year, that makes me an old woman. I guess I'm still just a baby then in comparison to you. I think I'm old in comparison to a lot of a lot of people that do what I do on YouTube. 
I'm not the oldest, I don't think I'm the oldest, but I'm, I'm certainly up there. Actually the, I'm good. Actually, the very last paper that Stephen Hawking published just weeks before his death was on the subject of multiple realities, the multiverse. That would also technically mean that there, there are multiple Stephen Hawkings. So there's probably another one out there. Another, another few out there. In fact, if you go by the quantum immortality theory, uh, Stephen Hawking like all of us, is actually functionally immortal. I mean, the idea is you can never die from your own perspective. Which is a lovely thought. Angela Lycos, what would you say to someone thinking of doing narrations? Uh, be patient. It'll take time to build an audience. Be respectful of other people's rights. Uh, and understand that no reply to a message uh, is also a no. And don't give up. That's the truncated version of the advice I give. Oh, also, I've seen some people do this. I don't think it's ever a good idea. Don't go and post in message boards a general message. Hey, send me your stories. People don't appreciate that. It makes narrators look bad. The, the, the moderators of the subreddits don't like it. And you're not going to get a lot of responses anyway. Just contact people individually. It's a lot of work, but doing this is a lot of work. Hey, Hell Freezer. Uh, I almost did that in an Irish accent there. I apologize. Uh, hey, Hell Freezer. Always worried when you first started narrating. Always wondered when you first started narrating. Uh, were you worried about how people would react to your accent? I love to do this, but sadly I'm from Belfast no 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 I I was worried about how people would react to my voice uh, not so much my accent I figured if anything my accent would help me stand out a little because there weren't I don't think there were any other Scottish narrators at the time I know there's at least one or two more right now but now, an accent's only going to help as long as you speak clearly, as long as your diction is good. Uh, well, then it doesn't really matter if you come from Belfast or not, you know, just as long as people can understand what you're saying. Yeah, Julie, I think that's probably what it is. And, and there's no way I can enable it or, or disable it. I think it's really just to prevent like chatbots from spamming, which is a good thing. And by the way, I have zero respect for Hawking. Well, I'd imagine he feels similarly about you. Actually, doesn't really feel much of anything these days from what I hear. I think most of the YouTubers I follow are in their 30s. Uh, I think... Well, I suddenly feel like a dirty old man now, because I think quite a few of the ones I follow are in their 20s. 
Uh, but they're like musicians and things. So I suppose that's slightly better. But yeah, no, I follow a, a good mix of people. I mean, no, twenties, thirties, forties. I'm sure. I'm sure one or two of them are in their fifties and sixties. Uh, I'm quite sure Dave from Dave's World of Fun Stuff is in his fifty fifties. Uh, Lee Anderton. Th- I'm just guessing. I think he's before it's something. I won't go through everybody's ages, but yeah, I think there's a fair mix of people I follow. Yeah, the I'm trying to what is today's day? This it's September, so the schools are back, so they should actually be in bed right now for school tomorrow, instead of outside and, and annoying my subscribers with their playing. I mean, for heaven's sake, it's quarter to eight. Should be snuggled up. Lightful Foxtrot, all the cool YouTubers are in their 30s. Well, I've got about three years left then. Angela Lycos, it's no bother. I could go yell at them, but that'll probably only get me funny looks. And most likely eggs thrown in my windows. Need to be careful here because I don't want her to blend into the wall. Well, that's not quite a bit that. That's not what I want. Go away. Thank you. Well, no, what I could do is I could tell them to shut up, but I could go out with like a bowl so I can catch all the eggs in it and I'll make an omelette later. Oh man, the kids are just playing. I never played when I was their age. I was always very mindful that there might be narrators uh, holding live chats in, in their houses 30 years ago. Really a lot of 
can do about this these scratches. <laughs> Kids are the worst coming from a former nanny. Pearson Pearson Caroline ninety six. If you give them big bits of chalk, no, I'd have to give them iPads or something. They're all into the iPads and the internets and the, the whatnots. It's this microphone, it picks up everything. Thank God I haven't farted during this chat. You'd all have been deafened. That's sad to say, Joe of the Dead. Yeah, kids are a little bit too brave these days. And they'll be brave until they find the one person who <laughs> doesn't care how old they are. But that one person is not me. Where did I start with that? Oh, that's certainly quite improved. I've got my credit card at uni, now I cannot buy food. Doesn't Just Eat count as buying food? I'm assuming they've got your car details saved. <laughs> um, hi Carly. I want to punch the lady in the last story. I'm thinking, is that the one with the lady with the blue boots? Yeah, I, got, I had similar feelings myself while, while narrating it. Joanna Bloomberg, kids these days, when I was a kiddo, we minded our own our own business, didn't come up to strangers, talk dumb shit. Now these days it's all about the Pokemon and the rock and roll and, uh, and the bath salts. We had respect when I was a kid. Yeah, Pearson Carolina. I worked I worked retail for almost fifteen years. Uh it went from being awful, tolerable to if I don't get out of here I'm gonna slit my wrist with that knife that's sitting in the block over there. And I was thinking, no, if I did that, they'd probably they'd probably see on the security cameras and call an ambulance. Plus I'd have to clean up the mess before I left, so I didn't bother. Anyway, no retail. That's very, very bad. Now you seem okay, Angela. Yeah, that annoys me, Cam Good. Because I was sure Pikachu had the stripe on his tail. Corinne O'Connell, I work as a barista. Uh, are, are you also a hot girl? 
uh, if people aren't kind, I can hold their coffee hostage. You can also spit in it. In fact, you can do all sorts of nasty things to people's food before they get it if, if they're rude to you. Adam Davis, thank you kindly. And to you and your wife as well. Uh, Pearson Caroline, you'll probably find there be uh, well, the work as a social worker might be a bit more fulfilling. There'll be a lot of awkward people to deal with in that line of work as well. This one finished. We'll have to reposition it on that frame though. And try like that. The blur tool. Yes, I'm also listening while at work. I feel like such a bad influence making people listen while they're at work. Danielle, good afternoon to you too. Level Foxtrot, the only problem I had working in retail was my ableist boss. Never going there again. Yeah, a, a bad boss, or, or rather a boss, can make or break a place. The place I worked in, I think I had about six of the buggers over the 15 years. And they went from being competent to really good to why are you here, you clearly don't care. Now what are we waiting for? Oh, we're not waiting on anything. We're just, we're just, just chit chatting while I'm working on these pictures. Let me readjust this tablet. Behave yourself. There we go. I want your landscape, not portrait.
Danielle, no, no, the live streams aren't for reading stories. Uh, the live streams are for hell, are for hell freezer to chill out and relax, and chat with his subscribers. Basically, you guys are just keeping me company. one. I wonder if I need to do a bit of recolouring on, on the legs there. I think I'm going to leave that image there for now. I will save. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's do that one. That one won't take long. Danielle, then sing a song. I'm not a performing monkey, Danielle. I mean, I am a monkey, but I'm not a performing one. Alicia, have you eaten dinner yet, Hellfreezer? No, I'll eat dinner a little bit later. I've snacked. There we go. Uh, this is my niece and my nephew. They're both much, much older now, just in case people are wondering. And this is my sofa. And that wallpaper is long gone. It's black and sparkly now. Okay. okay. I think actually just a couple of basic adjustments is all this needs. I'm not sure if that damage was on the picture or if it was just the scanner. Okay. Filter. I did check with their mother in case you're wondering that it was okay to use family pictures before I started doing this. Oh yeah, filter was all important. Uh, let's go old faithful, where are you hiding from? Yes, there we are. That actually reduces most of that. And we'll have to get in manually. Uh, this is a rare picture where 
where neither of them screwing their eyes up. Right, we're probably going to wrap up in about 10 minutes, so that should just be enough time to actually finish fixing this picture. It's going to be kind of tedious work. Let the bulk of it sorted. Couple of people asking, how does your family feel about your narration career? They're fine with it. I think my sister had, was a bit confused at first as to how it could be a job. But she understands how I make it work now. Uh, she, I think she listens on occasion, not all the time. And my brother-in-law, he also kind of listens from time to time. So there's a possibility he'll hear this. I'm about to sneeze, apologies. Bless me. I really should figure out how to get a mute button for this. What do they call it, a radio cough button? Yep, most of those effects taken care of. Behave yourself. I don't know why I still have the on-screen keyboard up. I have an actual keyboard in front of me. That's what I use when I'm feeling lazy. this dark patch here as a result of too much sitting try the dodge tool and that see what helps any and a touch of a brush Color sample of that. Yeah, that helps a bit. No reason. Have you been to Metro Center? Uh, no, I don't believe I have. How much longer am I streaming for? Just a few more minutes. I'm probably going to go to about two-ish hours, uh, which will be just enough time to finish fixing up this image.
Hi, Jesse Ingram. Johanna, I don't suppose you have any pets, Hell Freezer. I don't. Nope. Zurich, have you been to Iceland? Only the local frozen food shop, not the actual place. Yeah, that's basically just where on the picture, um, these kind of light spots here. I might try rescanning that image. There's a couple I could do that with. Oh, give me, you know what might help actually? Let's see what the results get. I want to close stamp. About there. I'm going to set it to darken. It's dark in there, but it's not really doing much because of the pattern on here. Oh, well, yeah, you can barely even see the pattern. So, I keep hearing weird sounds in my apartment. It's maybe just an old place. It's a bit too much. Uh, I've already uh, put adjustment layers on there. If I have the brightness, that'll just make any. That'll just accentuate the problem I'm trying to get rid of here. Root beer, oh, that's like the the weaker cousin of the, of the more manly ginger beer. I'm kidding. I quite like root beer myself. Father Ted, is it at all popular in Scotland? Uh, yeah, it's very popular. Well, at least it was until obviously they had to they had to stop making it. How did you get to be a priest, Dougal? Did you save up tokens on the back of a cereal packet or something? That's great being a priest, isn't it, Ted? Arse, feck. Yes, we're quite like Father Ted. Sure. 
Sean Mahan, that is worryingly accurate. Beth Barilla. I think we'll I think we'll leave it there. Right, so say goodbye to the niece and nephew. And I think I'm gonna head off for now. So until next time, thank you very much for listening, and take very good care of yourselves.